just blink. And it's like the Premier League never went on a break for Manchester United. After the result on the opening game of the new 2022-23 season, it means that United have now lost two of their last four Premier League games to mid-table Brighton with an aggregate scoreline of 6-1. That right there sums up Manchester United over the past few years. Even after signing a new manager, releasing close to half the squad, signing some new players and a pretty decent pre-season run, it seems like absolutely nothing has changed at Old Trafford. Man United may just be continuing on the same path that they were on last season. And that is surely not a good thing considering how very disastrous the 2021-22 season was for them. So all these really do beg the question, what the hell is going on at Manchester United? The truth is, the disaster we're seeing at Old Trafford right now didn't just happen all of a sudden, it has been building up over the years and we are now getting to see the full repercussions of certain decisions that were made years ago. Here are things we would say are responsible for Manchester United's current decline. Number 1. Poor handover Sir Alex Ferguson is one of the most successful coaches in football history, surely the most successful coach in Manchester United history. So when he was set to retire after 27 years at the club, they all knew that they would miss him. But what they just didn't know was that it would be this bad and for this long. But the truth is the man himself has some fault in how United has turned out since he left. Fergie is something of an oracle at United, so when he said it was this Scotsman who was going to succeed him, nobody could argue with it. Even though said man had never won anything in his managerial career. Basically, it was a horrible decision. The squad Ferguson left behind may have been defending champions, but they were actually not that great. Couple that with an average manager who had not won anything and it seemed like a recipe for disaster. We could say that David Moyes lost the Manchester United dressing room, but he actually never won it at any point. The players defied him, the legends and youngsters alike hadn't much respect for him, and newly appointed Ed Woodward didn't make things any better for him with some really abysmal signings, most infamous of them all being Marouane Fellaini. Unsurprisingly, Moyes won only one trophy at United, if you count the Community Shield as a trophy. He was replaced the following year, but as you know, that really didn't do much to help the situation. Things just kept on going downhill from there. Number 2. Signings We've already touched on that topic, but the truth is, even aside from under Moyes, Man United have not been very smart with signings in the last decade. They have spent insane amounts on players who ended up giving them next to nothing and they just seem to go back and do it all over again. Two major names that come to mind right now are Paul Pogba and Harry Maguire. Over the last decade, United have accrued a bigger net loss than any other team in Europe. The club has really wasted a truckload of cash on worthless signings or, in the words of the CEO himself, we have burned through cash. All that bad business is definitely partly responsible for the club sinking lower and lower. How do you expect to play well and win trophies when your players just aren't good enough? More so, this may be a little bit unpopular, but one could argue that, despite him being the club's leading goalscorer last season, Cristiano Ronaldo's re-signing was very poorly timed, and that would still fall under bad transfer business. But we'll admit though, sometimes the problem is not the players. Players like Lukaku, Pogba, Falcao, Di Maria and Memphis are proven good players, but it didn't work out for any of them at Man United. Why? Because of poor man management. Number 3. Coaching since Ferguson, Manchester United have not had coaches who have come and really changed things. Maybe only Jose Mourinho who managed to win three trophies at the club. The rest were massively underwhelming. While their peers were developing players, building teams and winning trophies, the Man United coaches were pretty much just retrogressing. You can hardly mention one youngster who has actually been developed by a Man United manager in the last 10 years. Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Adnan Yanazai, Andreas Pereira and a lot more others seem to be worse now than they were when we first knew them. And that says a lot about the management at the club. But then it does also make us wonder, is it the club that makes these managers bad? Because we can see what Moyes is currently doing at West Ham and of course Louis van Gaal is a Champions League winner and a World Cup bronze medalist. Ten Hag was also a serial winner at Ajax so it would be a little uncanny if he too goes on to fail badly at United. Number 4. Factions It has been reported that there are factions in the Man United dressing room. Apparently, the skipper, Harry Maguire, does not have the backing of all his teammates. Some of them seem to prefer Cristiano Ronaldo with the armband. 
a Cristiano Ronaldo who is doing everything to leave the club before the transfer window closes, by the way. That doesn't seem very united of Manchester. With such divisions in the dressing room, how do they expect to play as a unit and deliver results on the pitch? And we might add, fans are tremendously fed up with a certain attitude that Man United players have developed over the last few years. After a heavy defeat, they would head straight to social media and release long statements of apology or encouragement. Like, how about you just drop the pen and go do something better with the ball instead? We're looking right at you, Rashford and Bruno. Number five, Academy. Maybe, just maybe, if Man United could develop their academy, they would be able to avoid some of the really horrible signings they make. The club's academy, which produced the likes of David Beckham, Ryan Giggs, George Best and Sir Bobby Charlton, have not produced a real world star for them since Marcus Rashford. You compare that with the stars at Chelsea, City and even Liverpool's academies and then see just how badly United are doing. Number 6. Ownership if we were to do a deep dive into how much the Glazers have destroyed Man United, we would be here all day. While Sheikh Mansour has pumped over a billion euros in investments into Manchester City since taking them over, the Glazers have taken over a billion euros in dividends from Manchester United since 2005. There is a reason these guys were voted the worst club owners in the Premier League this year. How then are we surprised that the club hasn't been progressing over the years? That family only sees Manchester United as a cash cow. They really don't care about the club. The fans know this and have been protesting against the owners for some time now and you really can't blame them for wanting the Glazers out. Having mentioned all that is wrong with Manchester United, what then could be the solution? Honestly, we can't say for sure, but we know that changing the ownership and overhauling the squad wouldn't be a bad place to start. But what do you think? What would you say is Manchester United's major problem and what do you think could be their major solution? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.